Daniel here to compare the features of RX11 Advanced and Spectralayers Pro 11. Both programs are considered by many to be the best audio restoration tools around, so let's get straight to it. For most of the comparisons, I'll be using an Afro R&B song called Pull Up by Femi J produced by Lace Cadence. First off, we're comparing Music Rebalance versus Unmix Song, which is comparing the stem separation features. We're going to test against four scenarios, Vocals, bass, drums, and other based on what RX can handle. I'm going to use the highest quality setting on both programs and skip the waiting times. We're back. Let's start with the original mix followed by the vocal separation. The vocals have a lot of delay and reverb, which makes it a good test to see how both handle the effect. Starting with RX. Pull up, see, give me na na na. Pull up, my baby, press the star. Pull up, poor baby, love you. I'm loving you, oh baby. Pull up, see, give me na na na. Pull up, my baby, press the star. Pull up, poor baby, love you. I'm loving you, oh baby. Pull up, see, give me na na na. Pull up, my baby, fastest car. Pull up, poor baby, loving you. I'm loving you, ah, oh, baby. There is a bit of bleed from the percussive elements of the song in the vocal from both stems. In my opinion, Spectral Layers does capture the reverb and delays slightly better with less background noise and sounds a little closer to the original with slightly less artifacts. Let's check the bass now. So both capture the character of the bass fairly well, but RX does a clearly better job minimizing the bleed from other instruments. Let's try drums only. Once the kick drum hits, both stems suffer from a high cut and general smearing of the transients. Spectral layers does have resonant frequencies around the 6 to 8 kHz range, which sticks out to me. Both only do a passable job for this particular song. Finally, let's check the other category. So both are sounding quite similar in terms of capturing the synths and the vocal sample. I would give the slight edge to Spectral Layers as it sounds a little more smoother. Let's now test the D reverb module. We've got the original vocal processed stem that we heard earlier and maybe I want the stem dry for additional processing. Let's see how both fare in this scenario. In RX, we've got the vocal stem highlighted 
and we click on the reverb click the learn button and i'll leave the defaults and render in spectral layers i have the layer highlighted and i'll select voice the reverb I'll leave it at 80% and hit apply. There's also a generic D reverb module that we can test. So let me select the second layer, go to D reverb. I'll use 80% again, hit apply. And let's play back the differences, starting with our X. Pull up, see, give me na na na. Pull up, my be the fastest car. Pull up, oh baby, love you. I'm loving you, oh baby. Oh baby. Pull up, see, give me na na na. Pull up, my be the fastest car. Pull up, oh baby, love you. I'm loving you, oh baby. Pull up, see, give me na na na. Pull up, my be the fastest car. Pull up, oh baby, love you. I'm loving you, oh baby. Pull up, see, give me na na na. Pull up, probably the fastest car. Pull up, oh baby, love you. I'm loving you, oh baby. Oh baby. Pull up, see, give me na na na. Pull up, probably the fastest car. Pull up, oh baby, love you. I'm loving you, oh baby. The Spectral Layers Voice D Reverb does reduce the reverb better than the rest of the options, but all still affect the vocal quite significantly. Let's pivot then to the D-Clip modules. Say we're dealing with a terrible vocal recording where it's clipped beyond belief. Let's see how both tools tackle this. In RX, I'm going to click and drag the section in particular, click the D-Clip module, click suggest, and make sure that the quality is set to high and render. And close that. And in spectral layers, I'll select this particular layer, select D-Clip, click the suggest, hit apply. And I'll check this alternative layer and try out the voice D-clip module. I'll reduce the reconstruction ratio to about 80 and keep the limiter and hit apply. So let's hear the original first followed by the attempts of both. This audio is clipping. This audio is clipping. This audio is clipping. This audio is clipping. So I do think RX's D-clip is superior at least for this particular example. The original D-Clip module from Spectral Layers does sound better than the voice D-Clip, which is surprising. Let's compare RX Deconstruct versus Spectral Layers Unmixed Components. This is based on separating sound into tonal, transient and noise, which can be used as an alternative way to reduce noise or shape transients, for example. I'll use this against the instrumental and we can hear how both split the audio. In RX, open Deconstruct and use the faders to hear each individual component. In spectral layers, with the layer highlighted, we just go to Unmix Components, we'll have non-destructive mode, and hit Apply. The FFT size does have an impact in the quality of the separation in spectral layers. The spectrogram in both programs has been set with an FFT size of 8192 samples, as shown here. So we'll test individually. So I'll put this to infinity and preview the tonal element in RX first. Check the noise.
finally the transients. In terms of which sounds closer, it really depends on what you're looking for. I think RX is doing a better job in the transient with noise and the tonal aspect is debatable. Spectralase does have the advantage of being able to split them into separate layers for further processing, which is a little more cumbersome to achieve in RX. Finally, let's have a look at the MSRP of both. So going on both websites, Spectralayers Pro 11 is selling for £254. Isotope RX 11 Advanced is £1,149. Now, both do sales, but it is clear if price is a priority. I've also made a Google Sheet comparing over 70 features across RX 11 Advanced and Spectralayers Pro 11. You can check it out by signing up to my email list, leave a comment on which tool you preferred. All in all, take care.